had some um good discussions before because remember we had some talking points that we wanted to clear up and a lot of you guys said you wanted to hear from mr speed so we're going to be chopping up for chopping it up for a while i don't know how long mr speed has but we have some conversation that we have to touch with mr speed and mr speed have some things to say to you guys so i don't know if you're gonna like it or not you know but <laughs> it sounds good to me you know it sounds good to me so um how are you doing mr speed i'm good all right, all right, all right, all right. I am, I am fine. You know, just, just working on a few things. Loving the fact that we, we get Jamaica in the limelight. Heard that the the Zimini's contract went through and everything. Um, we wanted to touch that video so you can share some knowledge to the people and everything. You know, um, a lot of those things going on right now. And um, obviously when I contacted you, I contacted you about the the JPL problem that I saw and people complaining to me, like to say that um the youths them can't get a break because. Um, a team that used um, complete a uh, 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 whole host of young kids to qualify for the JPL. It's like a JFF and um, the JPL rules trying to stop them from playing. So can you enlighten us on that a little bit more? Because we, we don't know what's going on with us already on the TVJ. And obviously we should think it's true. So we want to hear from you. <laughs> <laughs> So um, the JFF has operated, um, started out, the Premier League used to be an amateur league, right? Um, over mm -hmm. the years. Then we, we, we decided that, the well, CONCACAF, you know, have a, have a CONCACAF league that is played by professional teams, no amateur teams. USL, I mean, so over the years, we were progressing towards professionalism of our league. So... There was a time, there was the rule was always there. It's not any new rule. There's a rule that said we had to have 35% professional players. That's where we started first. Then it went up to 50%. Each club had to have 50% professional players. Then it went up to 75%. And then in 2017, it went up to a hundred percent in 2017. Which means you must have a hundred percent professional players. Every player must have a contract to play in the in the Premier League. You know, funny enough, at that time, <clears throat> Cavaliers started the advent of a lot of youth players in the team. And I remember us playing Arnett Gardner winning the game one night, 3 0, and jumped to the front of the Premier League in that night. And there was a club who, who, who lodged a protest against us and said, Those players are not supposed to play because they don't have professional contracts. So that is how the argument starts from 2017. When we look at what was happening, we wrote Kankakaf and said, um, Kankakaf, come on, a lot of these players want to still go to college. Some of them don't want to, to mess up their eligibility. They're not sure if they want to sign a contract yet. Can you do something? And, and we recommend between both of us, we worked out from 2017 that each club could play with five amateur players up to the age of 19. So it's not even that amateur players to any age it's up to the age of 19 but if you start the competition before i mean before you're 19 you got to 19 during the competition then you can continue to play so that is the rule from 2017 2018 season <clears throat> then everybody um everybody you know knew that that was the rule and they obliged by it what could happen you could register 15 players though with that mm -hmm. day, but on every match day you can only play five and the five could be on the field at the same time, but you cannot play more than five on a match day. But the next match, you could change the five and put in a different five. So we okay, thought about okay. all of what everybody thought about, and this is what we came up with. So we could keep our professional status as a league and also keep um, some form, some form of ways to help some of the players. So that is really the, the rule, and it was there from 2017. It's not a new rule. Okay, okay, okay. Thanks for that. So based off that now, um, and we are struggling to really help the kids them um, from the, the transition from Manning Cup directly into the, the JPL. Um, what bridge you would put in place in order to, to facilitate that, that little problem that they are having now? Like some of the, like for instance, we can't get so much kids um, in into the, the JPL. So do we have a next league like the under 23s, under 20s to, to keep these guys going? Oh, are no, you no, I, I agree with you. That is our feelings, right? So before I reach there, so I must say to everyone on the chat, the Premier League is not a development league. It's your showpiece league. It is the league 
that depending on your Premier League, the status of the country is determined depending on your Premier League. All the top countries have top class professional Premier League. Um, MLS, um, Costa Rica, um, Mexico, Canada, they all have top class professional league where every player should have. And, and we were discussing it before. There's no way we can compete with those countries if we are using amateur players. And then you expect us when we come at the national level, we are going to be competing against the country that using pure professional players who eat, sleep, play football, everything. So, so the professional league is not for development. I just wanted to make it clear. It has it, it used to be in the past, but we have changed that um since 2017. And it's supposed to be a strictly professional league. And we're supposed to be improving it, make it better and better every single year. So we can compete with the other professional leagues and countries in our Kankakaf region. And that is what the professional league is for. Now, your question okay. that you asked me, mm -hmm. yeah. Two, we do not have enough development leagues. And it's something that we should work on. But to care about our professional league to development league, it, it won't happen. So there's one league that we introduced last year, and it's a tier two, which is played in every single parish, and it's a semi-professional league. That was clear that league is a semi-professional league, which you only should have 35% professional players in, 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 in the tier two. That's where we start. Yeah. So all the players who, who believe that they want to further their career, they could start out in the tier two and build it up. And then the very good ones, 14, I mean, as I said before, you know, it could be 10. So 14 times 10 could be in the Premier League. There's no limit to the amount that you can register, by the way. You only can, you can only play five. That's really okay okay so basically um what these guys uh, oh okay so like chopper and maroons now um they they advance to the jpl now so basically if they if those kids uh some of those kids don't get registered as professional players they have to just stay back in the tier two in order to keep their development going right, right. so let us talk about that now <laughs> because no, that no, is no. the trouble no you know <laughs> no no let, no but the, me and you know that so 90 percent of kids want to get scholarship they don't want to pay any jpl they don't yes, know yes. to fool yourself. They don't want to pay in JPL. That is really the reason why they don't sign the contracts, you know. Because they don't want their eligibility to be. So let me explain. So, <laughs> you know. so Jamaica law says from your 13 years of age, you can sign a contract with an employer. So there's no nothing is stopped. And FIFA law says. If you're under 18, but they never say what the, the minimum figure was, you know, minimum age was. Mm -hmm. They say if you're under 18, you can sign a professional contract for three years maximum, but your parents have to agree. So all those Chapitan Maroon players, they can sign a contract if they want. And it will be legal. So there's nothing stopping them from signing a contract. The Jamaican law says if you sign a contract, they must not work for more than 40 hours a week. They must not work overtime. They must not, the work must not prevent them from going to school. And there's some, a few others. I can't remember all of them. Okay? You know, I'm not a lawyer still, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, so, yeah, the, yeah. so the thing is, nobody that plays for Chapel and Maroon, if they want to sign a contract, they can sign a contract and play as a, as a contracted player in the league. Wouldn't be an issue. Okay, I, I'm glad that you cleared that up. So, kids, if you want to play and you want to play in the JPL, you have to just sign the contracts. And obviously, our concerns are lawyer, so they can give you the stipulations in between because we're going to get into these contract conversations, you know. All right, because we have a next big thing that we have to call Mr. Speed in because Mr. Speed was one of the, the persons that brought Ms. Um, Ziminis to the fort. You know, and Zimini is go overseas because obviously um, a lot of people want to, to push themselves. So um, we saw um, Zimini is now. We get it clear now. So the, the main but well, thing. Just circle... before you go, I have one last mm -hmm. point to add. Mm -hmm. The problem why the players in school don't want to sign a contract is two. And I don't blame mm -hmm. them either. One, they want to be able to go to college still as an amateur. And mm -hmm. two, ISA has a rule that says if you are a professional player, 
you cannot play you in play the school one or the Costa Cup. So that's what I wanted you to tell <laughs> me, man. That that's is the problem. You to tell me. Yes, that is okay, the problem. Okay, okay. That's what I wanted. No, then, then we can't switch over to the Zimini's conversation. We have to stay it here then. So, oh, let, guys, let me know in the comments. And guys, share the live, share the live, and smash the like button, man. And Because Mr. Speed giving you some good um, conversation. So that was a problem. So I think when people come here and talk about the story, they should add everything to it. So the kids them don't want to sign because they still want to play the Manning Cup because the Manning Cup gives you the best, the biggest appeal. Oh, so no, we're getting it. So I think it's more of the money of rather than okay. So and uh, college, okay, uh, and college, and college, and college. They want to go. To, look here, ninety percent of the kids want to go to college. No matter what, because I have lost players like Rochester to college, Henry to college. Um, even we were playing. Um, I don't remember what his name was. And his thing for not signing with us was that he wanted to be able to go to college if he chooses. But no, he got a professional contract now, but that was what he was saying all along. Okay, okay. All right. So um because we, we don't know when Mr. Speed, Mr. Speed is a busy man, so we don't want to take up his time, you know. So Mr. Speed, because yeah. um clearly I, I was actually talking to you on, on, on this one, you know. So I really want to um have the conversation on this one. The the, the Tyreek Ziminis, because Ziminis made a good solid move on paper. And paper, we don't know how it's going to materialize as yet. Um, they, they said it's a two and a half year deal, but uh, and and the club registered when you look at the club circle, brother, um, they are one of the biggest, they're one of the best performing clubs in Belgium. Belgium is ranked 13th in the world, um, right now at this point, or at least in Europe, they are ranked 13th in Europe. Um, you, you have a problem with the big jump from a, a, a player coming from the JPL and the schoolboy to just jump, go straight there, and then has, have to go down to the under 23s. So, um, listen, everyone you know deserve a chance to, to probably do, do. I mean, Bibi Gardner did jump from. Well, he was a national fan and he jumped straight into the Premier League. And he was one of the best Premier League players for years on top of years. So mm -hmm. it's not like it's not like um it, it's impossible, right? But what we have to be mindful of is you put the player in a league that him just can't manage. And because of that, you stifle his career when you could have started him lower and then gradually move him up. Because he's a youngster, he could have probably started lower. And just like a Paris who started at 18, but by the time he was 22, he reached, him, him kind of reached a decent standard. So, um, Jamaica is, I just say, is ranked 13th in CONCACAF. <laughs> Belgium is ranked 13th in the world. Yes, it's a big jump. And and those big jumps is usually difficult for you to settle in and play competently so the coach believes in you. In Bibi Gardner time, um he was he, he played in the world cup so there was no in the world cup so yeah and yeah, he did yeah. well in the world cup there was no doubt about his quality so um even the coach who bought him could have said slot him in the in the starting lineup without even thinking because that's you know that's what they bought him for but when you're in a development stage and the competition is so fierce clubs and agents them have to be very very careful where they start with these players because a lot of them just get lost lost um if if they if they you know and 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 don't and don't go to the extent that we think they should go. A lot of players we have like that. So yeah, I'm a little concerned. Okay, okay, all right. So guys, let me know if you're uh, you think it's a good move because on face value, you know, it would be a good move. But I've always told you guys. Remember, I'm here, you know. I know the difference between the here Maggie and those guys tell you the fart. Maggie said I. I he doesn't, he never even know that. <laughs> Maggie, Mr. Speedy, I should hear Maggie talk about the transition between Jamaica and Belgium. It's like Maggie describing space because he said everything is different. So uh, if you have a kid coming here, he has a first two and a half year contract and he has that only an extension after that. Um, kids learn faster, you know, so I will give him that because he's a kid. So he might can learn a little bit faster and, and fit in with others faster. As you can see, you have a lot. We are showing the ages of the other guys um, in the in the academy at this point. That's he's going to directly play with. The big team has completely different levels players, but definitely these are the ones that he's going to start with at this point. Um, 
all I'm saying is the transition, like the language barrier, because don't follow people. There is a language bar barrier. It's not everyone turn up on a pitch knows the same language as most of the people I'm coming from our region. They don't, and not everyone know English, especially in those countryside um, of Belgium. I don't think everyone um, knows the languages and stuff. Some of them come in with French, some are coming with German. So I, I, I'm just open, I'm just open. But I, so so what you think can improve? You think that we need to we need to have more um, scouts that are direct, clearer to the public, like clearer to the players, like educate the players a little bit more, or what can the JFF do to improve the, the players, their knowledge? Um, in order or to pick scouts, because I think that's a problem as well. Yeah. Right. So the JFF, we, we know that we are behind in terms of, look, first problem we have is football knowledge. As I said before, when we were speaking, you know, I've spoken to coaches in uh, in Europe. You know, if, if uh, there's a lot of coaches that have A license and pro license that coach youth at under six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Most likely, any a person in Jamaica up to the age of about 13, 90% of the coach that has been coaching him never do a coaching course from them barn. He's really a village coach. Don't know anything. Just watch football and decide to coach. So what happened when our young players go overseas, them behind the eight ball? So the coach said, today, we are playing transition to attack in, this, in the final third. Okay? Some of you might know what that means. But majority of, of, of Jamaican players, even up to this day, would never play when we just said right, a while ago. And and if but the players who were educated in, in Europe, right, and in South America, mm -hmm. they would have known what that means from them about 12. So it's just a matter of who were the better player now that would progress. But all of them would have that knowledge from them at 12, 13. They understand the moments of the game, know exactly what they are supposed to do. So the coach come and said the meta today is this 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 for this game we probably are wonder what the meta mean while anybody in europe would just know what the meta mean and know where the coach start talk about right away so these are some of the barriers why we don't succeed when we go overseas and if you notice one of the ways that we'll get to succeed is if we start in a lower league where our technical level is higher because the truth is you know our technical level is fairly high you know and comparative with with a lot of Top level countries yeah. in terms of passing, kicking, heading. We're not bad. We're not. We're not better, worse than anybody. But the mental part and and they know what the game is. We ahead of what we know, and that is what the problem is. So if your technical level is higher, they will give you a job and try to teach you because they know eventually you're going to become superior players. And I give the example like Paris. Paris started out at a low level, then him go up, then him go on a dynamo keep. So him. In, 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 in technical level was always high. He was one of the most skillful person probably in the world anyway, in control and kicking ability. All of those was always high. He probably never know the game as much. I mean, so now that he learned these things, he just become a much better player. Shaman Nichols, the same thing you can see, you know, the, the progression. So, so we have to be careful that we don't put the players in a situation where we set them up for fail. And one of the things that JFF can do is to lift the level of coaching education at Jamaica fast. Because trust me, we're the way behind. And then um, once we lift that, then the players will be more not even, even steam. Steam. You know, I believe that Jamaica can be ranked in the 20s, you know, based on our physical ability, our technical ability. We're really lack. In the 20s. I think the yeah. 20s will be a little bit tougher <laughs> to reach in the 20s. But if you say that it's 30, 38, 35... <coughs> I would give you that at this point. Well, we have been there already. Right now. You know, we have been there already. No, I, I know that, but that was way, that's a long time, <laughs> uh, Mr. Speed. That's a long time. No, it's hard. And But the FIFA ranking system, it's possible that Jamaica can go down in the 20s. You know why? Because the rankings does not really determine who is the 20th best teams. It's right, because right. of your confed. So yeah. you, you just need to be dominant in your confed and you can go down in, I think, top 20s. Because it's hard at this point because you're explaining every single thing and all of those things that you're talking about, Mexico and United States have it in abundance. And now um, Canada come, come spending their ways. Africans will be upset with me on, on that. <laughs> but they're spending money to get up there in the region very fast. So they are gathering all of those things. So um, if you said that we could rank, right, 
Oh, and eventually, oh, you know, I'm not talking about right now, you know, eventually, if we put everything in place, I'm just saying, if we put everything in place, the coaching, the organization, with the physical talent that we have and the technical talent that we have, I think we can rank in the 20s. That's what I mean. I don't mean, I don't even mean in the next year or two, you know, I'm talking about eventually, if we get everything right. Okay, all right, all right. Fair, fair enough, fair enough. All right. So, um, yes. So, thanks everyone that came in, man. Guys, we have eighty-four already in here. Thanks very much. Massive respect, man. Ask away a question. You drop it in a super chat so it highlight. We have to put it on the screen so Mister Speed cannot hide from it. Yes, but <laughs> thanks very much. It, no problem. But we have to touch this topic because Mister Speed started with youth. So no, Mister Speed. Um, we have algorithms coming in. And we love the way oh the, the Mr. Chong sounds giving all of those um pitch and everything that sound like we are going to be doing some great things. All right. So um what is the plan? Like we have any strategical plan. The last day I came here, I broke a news to say that you're not building any careers. So and and now we are reading that um the 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 the, the, the manager. He's going to be taking on over the grassroots program early on. And if you don't want to build any careers at earlier age, I think you're going to go professional right throughout the ranks in order to, to cut out that building of career thing and people have to find their own path. So, oh, oh you're going to shape these things, like how oh, you give the coach all access to everything, grassroots and everything. What should we expect, like the fans should expect? Right. So it will take a little time, but... We believe that this set of under this under 17 team qualifying will be the will be well we can't swear for it forever, but the next set of under 17 both women, male and female, and under 20 both male and female, we will mm -hmm. have a preparation time at, at least two years. Then for and the next matter. set, not this one. No, this one gone okay. already. At least two years, and the following under 17 will have a preparation time of four years because come next year. March, we're going to do our first um other, other exercise in the US for fine talent at 15 and 14 mm -hmm. at mm -hmm. two places. We did we did um Miami for the other yes, yes. I, I have the I have the videos, but I for some reason yeah. I never get the time to sh to post That's them. Mm. But next we're going to do Miami and New York. So we have somewhere in New York already where we established and we have somewhere in Miami. We're trying mm -hmm. to find somewhere in, in over by California or maybe Colorado. We're trying to find somewhere over that side to see if we can have another one for trials. So we'll be going through the diaspora to make sure. We have a, something coming up, which I can't talk about it yet, but with, with, with a part, somebody from England and we're going to be going there too for one of these camps too. That might not mm -hmm. be in February though, because we still need to iron out right. some things, right? I will definitely come at that one, England camp. <laughs> Yes, yes, I'm planning. <laughs> if the person is in Sweden, then you have to come to England. We can't come to Sweden. Yeah, yeah, you have to come to England. But yeah, I'm man, sure I they will, will come to England. Man. Yeah, I'm sure they will come. So then now, we apply to FIFA what, for what we call a talent identification program. Because since the, we know that since the pandemic, mm -hmm. we have fallen way behind. I mean, people are surprised when we go down in under 15 or under 14 and the under 17 qualifiers we have been playing in the football for three four years for the youth all right so guys just drop your, your comments so we i will get to it at, at time mr speed look like people calling you remember mr speed is a busy man so you understand you know yeah so we haven't been playing any football so if you're not playing any football and other countries came up before us how are you going to have development? And it's not the football nation fault. Remember, our government was like, I had told her when it comes to the pandemic more than anybody else in the world. They locked us down. They wrote me letters, mm -hmm. threatening police on me when I trained. They, they were like really tough on us. So, so you know, every all the football programs just mash up basically. It's, it's a really comeback, you know, two years in a row. But the, the parishes has gone back online. So we can unearth every single talent. So we left a lot of talent behind. You know, even when we feel those teams and everybody cussing, say, the only under 20 do this and the under 70. Come on, people. They were not playing. There's no way they could keep up with a USA who came back long time or, you know, other countries who came back long time. So that was a problem. But this time, FIFA has a talent identification program, which, you know, Venga is in charge of, and we're an active participant in it. 
they have told us in no uncertain terms that they are not joking they want us to get full-time coaches for the two-year full-time manager they mustn't coach no other team so we're going through all of that process <laughs> oh, okay so all to, right right so we're going to be turning over every stone in every parish grassroots we're going to have under 15 teams uh, one under 15 team in every part so they're going to put up under 15 team together we're going to have a tournament extensive tournament to make sure that you know we look at all the best players in the parish we're going to keep our database under 15 under 13 well we could it depends on on what we need because we could play under 14 to depend on what we need um and depends on the year that we're going to need the players for. i remember the under 17 depending on the girls yeah, need a 16 a year old yeah mm -hmm. they, 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 yeah right so all of that is gonna happen then we, so then we so that is so then we're going to go to the clubs and say you must play under 17. The, that is the 24 profit pro semi-pro and professional clubs so you must play under 17 competition you must play we're not asking if you don't play you're not in the premier league you're not in the tier two and we're going to do the same thing for it we're not sure about the under 20 but we're sure so we're going to do it for the under 17. So what we're trying to do is to build a player pathway so a player who wants to play for the national team understand play for your parish team find a club team when you finish play for your parish team the good thing about the the the, the um the tier two competition is that there's a team from every parish while the premier league there's no there's not a team from every parish the tier two competition has a team from every parish so once you're a part of that outfit you'll get to play in the under 17 competition and 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 that is why we say we're not building your career for you go and play where we're going to see you where you're going to be on display all the time the coaches come and see you there's going to be games in kingston all over jamaica you're going to have a semi-final and a final so everybody will be able to see you so that is the plan we have to build what we call a elite youth competition so so you can't hide Okay, all right. nice. So that, that sounds very much nice. Big up yourself, El Patrino, Wunun, Sean, Sean Bass, and Karoom. Yes, we will take the questions um, right after. As you come in, smash the like button, just keep and leave your questions. We will get to it. All right, the first thing now, and I'm glad you cleared up that. So it's be, all of these uh, missing in action for Jamaica was due to money and due to the COVID-19, where in which everything go back in the backlog. Because we had an under-15 competition here, which I wanted Jamaica to go in because, remember, they said that that's where most of us fall off at the under-15 levels. But the biggest under-15 competition, Jamaica was on the list, you know. And the Asian, the Asian, obviously, they call me Asian. They call me everything because I'm the only person that dialogue with everybody in the in the, in the Kankakaf region. I'm not a sellout for Jamaica. I just talk to the people. So they they call me to ask 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 you guys if you're going to participate. Because under 15 was a good competition. You know? Yeah, they won it two times in a row. You know, how how in the world Jamaica never get a chance to go there now? And what will happen to those kids? Because um you're on the list so oh they know that they should make the competition but yet still never make the competition and so that was a big competition one, so the one that we went to and we didn't do mm -hmm. so well we couldn't train in jamaica the minister said no we we couldn't have one yeah, but, training session but mr speed one key kept um what four months ago right four or three and a half months ago and jamaica was in the line of oh, jamaica oh, was oh, in oh. I, group so what yeah. happened what took place there no i don't I think I rem I don't I can't recall what is the exact circumstances, but I think we didn't have enough visas or something like that. Well, I can't remember the exact circumstances. Oh. Wow. Okay. But again, okay, because... again, we don't we don't have anybody training or playing in a competition. It's, it's like you're going to be just picking up a, a, a set of players with visas, basically. And you don't think and you don't think that would have been helpful just to say or you think it would have been worth waste of money, worse stuff you don't have enough capital at the time. So you guys would not take that risk because you don't think we're gonna learn necessarily enough then basically. No, two no, look here. Last year, you know, and probably the year before, after the pandemic and after we went to um after we, we spent a lot of money on the male and female team to qualify for the World Cup. To, to play in the World Cup qualifiers. It mm -hmm. was a lot of money. And we had it really, really tough. And as I said before somewhere, look here, it's when you don't have the money, anybody can look incompetent. Just. <laughs> and, and a lot of the instances, then, we just can't afford to do what we want to do. We just can't afford it. 
Um, okay. We see this year, we believe that we are on a better footing based on all our projections. Mm -hmm. And we think we'll be, do, we'll be able to do much better. In addition to that, FIFA is actually having some programs that we can take advantage of. So we're looking at doing those things. Okay, okay. All right. So, guys, you, you got that one um, about the under-15. That's the reason why we never participated in the under-15. Mm -hmm. Difficulties of funds and everything. So, no, like we talk about the difficulties of funds. We know about the FIFA package. We heard that FIFA might slightly increase. We know that they're going to increase for the ladies. So you're going to get more money for the qualification. Don't know if you guys got it already. And you have the Adidas deal um, coming up. And I don't, I, I, I read some things on, on the contracts that Adidas naturally signs. And it's not the same thing as what people tell me, like what's going around on YouTube. I don't think it's the same thing. So you could explain, like, just vaguely, nothing to incriminate anything um, on what the, the deal entails, like what we should expect, like how much financial help it will be for Jamaica team, or it's just jersey and are the people need to go out and buy more jerseys for for you guys to have more capital you know we, we want to know a little bit more so we can do a little bit more you know so the this is the best deal we ever get from um from a, a, a sponsor there's a significant amount of cash and it could rise substantially depending on what we do so if we qualify for world cups and any world cup women world cup there is a bonus element here, but there's a fixed portion too, which is significant. I don't mm -hmm. want to say it because I'd prefer the president say it before. Yes, means, man, yes, but, man. That's why that's why I said you don't have to go into figures. And it can go a long way in helping us. Um helping helping us. So let me tell you why it's so important for us to get that money. Um, you know, the the, the FIFA, they, they they tell you they are the richest they have ever been, right? They have money now more than any other time in the history of FIFA. And they are willing to share it to the national associations. So we will we will definitely get some additional funding from them. As a matter of fact, they have raised everything by I think, 25 to 30 percent already. Yes, that's what I said. 25 percent, yeah. yeah. even the and girls. So you're gonna already get more money already. You know? More money coming yes. for you already, you know, yes. for the girls. <laughs> <laughs> There is also, yes, and depends on how well the girl will get more money, but there's also... Yeah, more money again, yeah. Yeah, but the truth is the money that's coming from the girls, we have, some of it will go back to them because we have bonuses, and so we say you're going to get that if you did certain things. So some of those money definitely will go back to the girls who are qualifying for the World Cup, right? And the mm -hmm. coaching staff and everybody. So we won't get all of that money. So what we have done since, though, is also is that usually when there's a World Cup, FIFA usually also give you a bonus. Yes, yes, yes. Right. There's a talent identification program, which is look like it's going to be huge. Again, we apply for it and we get it. We just need to just do some fine tuning to actually collect the money. So we know we know of those. There's an emergency funding that we can also access, which we're going to try to make sure so we get in a position to access, help with traveling, etc. cetera, and those things. But you know, look here, when we go away and we have to take these flights, it's because we can't afford to chart our plane it's not because we don't want to but we just can't afford to so but the the money that we're getting why the money is so important to us that we're getting from the deal sorry all the money that fifa gives to you they put them in a find the right word you have to tell them what you're going to spend it on and you have to stick to mm -hmm. it you know have no yes 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 you know, have no, you can't. No wiggle room, no wiggle room. Yeah, yeah. Exactly, yeah, you exactly what bucket. you say you're going to do. Yeah. yeah. You put them in a bucket, and if you don't do it, you have to show FIFA the money when they come. You can't use yeah, it. Yeah. But like, when we earn money otherwise, like when you play matches and get that type of money for matches, or when mm -hmm. you get, like or the ISA deal, or when you get sponsorship, I'm sorry, not ISA, the, the, the Gears deal, or when you get sponsorship, those money you can use them the way you choose to use it. So that yes, is why yes, it is yes. so important for get, and that is why it is so significant to us to get this money because now um we can use it for more development or use it for anything that we think that should be done that does not come under the fifa um offerings because remember fifa is specific about what they want you to do and you have to just do that that particular way so yeah okay 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 uh so that means we're gonna be a start oh so that simple means the money you 
now at least you said last time uh when you don't have any money your anybody can look incompetent so now even though you have money for specific areas you still have money nonetheless so you have money and limit it doesn't matter how much money i think it can't exceed over 10 million for the fifa but it's going 10 million us that is but it's going to be um in between i think over the five year over five million us dollars so at least you'll have that accessible towards the funding of certain development and infrastructures for the for the for, for jamaica but the, the additional funds that the, the 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 adidas and those stuffs can use some more um well-rounded things like the traveling and all of those additional things that you want to spend yes. on and, and stuff okay 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 to make life all easier right. for for for, oh. for so, so like so no if we get say we get some appearance fee to go to um wherever morocco um, like when morocco, we, we, they play yeah. that and we have to try yes, yes. yeah we, we have to try budget the spend to come back to that because we don't have any excess money to put against that so 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 that happened to us all a, a lot of times so we try to look for the cheapest i mean the last time i mean the players you know even although sometimes a year we have such a big Fight, you know some of the players are really nice enough you know, because when we were going to the last canadian trip they said they'll travel economy you know economy plus we call economy premium them say it's okay don't give us any first class ticket because we know say we can't afford it because it's true it's one ticket was like ten thousand us five thousand us for some depending on where you're traveling to and they said no we'll go economy premium and they did you know and they went on and enjoyed the game and in some of those more collaboration we are hope this time we have the players them so we can just say to them say player we don't have money you know our economy we say you no know, and if them say yes you know you know i will just okay okay like so so i you think that in in order to improve things like that you have to start from early so for instance um the 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 the, the the, the the new start towards the new the start to the world cup the the new coming world cup 2026 should start from now so you can get these guys like the michael antonios i think he understands because i heard him spoke aside and he's literally looking players to come and play for jamaica this man i think somebody no you know what let me skip it because i think this is what people would love to hear uh what are we doing to integrate these players because they look like they love Jamaica and a lot of the other players. I mean, you know, I'm telling you, you know, because the people them are tracking things and send to me, you know, and they are trying to scout players to come here, you know. But it seems like the people inside Jamaica just don't have that respect for them. Or don't have, they don't even know them because I saw some clippings and some comments at times. And people say, yo, why are we bring them bag of money when they come from the country? And, re, re, re. and then I saw even, even a, a big official from Arborview call it the man them rejects when the man rejects they come and hold up space for the youths I mean, what we are going to do for make the people them just understand say i know i know the icing upon the cake because they love to talk about icing upon the cake you know <coughs> in 1998 the englishman was the icing upon the cake why them understand what we are going to do for them understand say nowadays maybe the englishman them are the cake and we are the icing at this point and <laughs> it, it, we are, we are trying to improve it we are trying to improve it to go back to be the cake then <laughs> no, make sure I put it at the right word. <laughs> so understand what, what what we are doing for integrate the man them for we can just uh, we just have a team like Morocco. Morocco have a one Mr. Speed, uh, the, the Morocco team will dominate Jamaica, you know. A one human being up on the bench, you know, from out of the squad, you know. Nobody else, nobody know, you know. So then why we often know the man them like me not understand why, like what we <laughs> Just please educate the man and Mr. Speed. Why, right. why people have gone so? So we have a plan, right? And we, we, we need we need work, we'll try to flesh it out. So the plan what we have is twofold. And it's not a new plan. It's not like we invented it. So we go always going to have an A team. That, that the A team, we don't care where the person comes from, where they born, where they live, where they grow. Once them have a Jamaican passport and eligible for play, we're going to pick them. And we don't care if a team, the A team, comprised of players only from England or USA or Jamaica. It don't matter to us. That is why I made a statement. We're not making anybody career. Make your career. Yeah, yeah. but Mr. Speed, remember, say you need people to buy the jersey, them, you know. So if you yeah. pick a bag of Englishman yeah. according to them, then they know them. So what we are going to do for make them know them? Yeah, but who are going to buy the jersey? Because our jersey, yeah, the Jamaicans, they may expect to buy the jersey. 
<laughs> no, them, them, them talk like them, them talk like them are going to buy it. We, we know we're going to buy it because we're going to buy it online and them stuff. Exactly. So we know we're going to buy it. Exactly. But them, them talk like them are going to buy it. So we, at least we want them to have the opportunity to kind of buy it. Right. So, but no, we're no, going no, to bring them closer finished. today. I'm not finished yet. Yeah. So we are going to make sure that we have this other second team. Because remember, where we, we, we the world is now, if it is not a FIFA window, you cannot get the best players. Just like yes, going to the Chelsea players, Hutchinson. Mm -hmm. we, it, Outside of a FIFA window, you, you can call the club. The club will ask if you come from in a cave. You can't call it. They're not releasing the players outside of a FIFA window. But we want to play other games. So we're going to have the local players, all the best local players playing. So what we, our plan is, if you have a FIFA window, we'll play one game with all of the top players and we'll play one game with the local players. And some top players will not play much. You see? Yeah. So we end up getting three set of players to, to actually be participating in the window. Or we play two with the top team, and we play one with the local team. So that is what we, is a plan that we, we're trying to flesh out to make sure we say local players get the opportunity. Now, if the local players, um, I call it, you know, play very well, of course, you coach might bring up to the top team. Because you'll see me as an international player too. So, so everybody will get a chance so nobody need to be saying, you know. Mr. Speed, may I tell you, so some of them are stressed out because Maggie fans, eh, Maggie have a church, you know, in a Jamaica, and I don't know how he get it, you know, but he have a church in a Jamaica, where he might, they might say, yo, Ravel, the pastor ball good, Maggie could have do it better. Some of us are wonder if we can just figure a way out for me, the man just like, because the other day, the other day, Mr. Mr. Speed, we have Ethan Pinnock. Ethan Pinnock play three of the biggest teams in the world. And the man locked down Haaland, and me hear the community that said, This is the first man, Missy, literally make Haaland have problems. I come here and I tell the man, them. And the first thing I'm gonna say, Yo, well, I'm telling my youth every day, come with a bag of English man, them. <laughs> so it does not, it, because, I, and, and I heard you sometimes, Mr. Speed, we are listening to the play them longer than you know. When, when the issue happened the last time when Mikel and Tony went back to, to overseas, um, and then, 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 then the, the national stadium was actually awarded to the track and field. Me, Ethan, Mikel and Tony commented under the post, you know, they deleted the man commenting. You know? Because the man mm -hmm. asked you, so then I think Jamaica like football because now that we did hear that's how we come and play with Jamaica. And I deleted the man comment. You understand mm -hmm. me? And then <laughs> after the man have to go back and put a comment again. And then them shadow ban the man comment, like shadow the man comment again. These are things that happens. So the man, so the man them want to see the fans them. They want to integrate with the fans them because they want to make people know so them they're here. And remember that can turn out to be financial for you guys, you know. Because okay. if a man knows say Michael Antonio play, he may want a Michael Antonio jersey. Of course. And Michael Antonio have a big following in England. So the truth is, a lot of people just start. You know, Daniel Johnson is here often. I think he have a host here. I think mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, the other one that people don't love, the, the skillful one, he have a host here too. I mean, I think Daniel Johnson, probably wife is living here, I think. So a lot of time when I hear people talk, it's just out of ignorance to say the people them are not Jamaicans and all sort other of things. Who is not just two Englishmen have a house here, you know? They come here and they buy actually buy a house. I know one of them buy a house in Poland. I can't remember. So the truth is, we have to just and why I like this coach. And one of the reasons why we went for him, knowing how the coach is, we want somebody who will, who will take no talk from nobody at all. We want a coach who believes that his reputation is important to him, his win-loss record is important to him because he knows that for him to get the next job <laughs> i mean he's an international coach he is not a yes, yes. Jamaican coach or a little man who's just a star try him is an international coach so what and and him and john wall is so scientific i am impressed let me tell you what the man then do they have 250 Jamaican players from all over the world who them think is a standard. They run them okay. in, a, in a program that project where they're going to be in 2026. 
they're projecting based on trajectory from before and where them playing and the leagues where they're doing them have an idea where they're going to be in 2026. so <laughs> so um so 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 they are the type that's probably gonna pick 40 players and say okay this is what we have going for it's not early and just work with those and then you have to make a run if you want to get into the squad after that you have to make a run that is why i made the talk no you have to make a career don't expect anybody to come and make a career for you um the coach record is zero one one so far him, him win him lose one and draw one Okay, that's on that's on that sounds and definitely nice, definitely nice. So you said, uh, like we made the speech for the under tw the national team. You think it's gonna go down because we ha we heard some things so the under twenty threes, you know, the GOA. Uh, we are hearing some things like the, um, maybe the GOA will 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 try to dictate how the selection of the squad will will be. Um, do you have any problems with that? If if you had said the, the story, if you don't see it, you don't have to comment on it. Uh, that's a joke. JO is deals with athletics mainly. I deal with all sports, not football. They're, they're an umbrella body for all Olympic sports. Yes, I yes. Mean, yeah. They will never pick a football team ever. That can never okay. Happen. No, so no, that's no. that's out of the way. So for the under twenties now, like how we saw, because remember before you know, you were a man that's you are a man that really stand up and said, Yo, I don't think some of them players I want to play you now. Well, the under twenties, man, know the under twenties changed your mind when you saw all of those big name wonder kids saying that, yo, tell you what, me not play for England, you know. I jump in, come here, come in, you know. And they came, some came and never even played. And I saw a man turn on him TV, take two picture. These guys are passionate, you know, at, at least it's the overseas persons. They are passionate about Jamaica football. You know. The man them take a picture, show me Lamba Kisi, and the guys that were never made under 20 team. I yeah. play in an actual Premier League at this point now. So for the under 20s, oh, serious, we are going to take it now. Because I saw Aronson, the 80 guys, them, they are getting contracts now. You know, so they are all turning professional, going different places. You know, so what what, uh, what level playing field are you going to be? try to implement in order to get Jamaica to step up to that level because I thought that they did well the last time because they went further than where I expected them to go. All right. So what 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 can you do now to improve it towards the World Cup? Well, as I said before, you know, they if you ever meet Januar, one day I should meet him. Mm -hmm. He's going if to you said the England target. thing, I will come to England. I will yeah, come to England. To be in under 20 team. But if you ever talk mm -hmm. about somebody that researches, he's like the rules rise of research. He's going to find every single under 20 player who's eligible to play for Jamaica. And again, he's not one of those play persons who's going to be concerned about who's going to cry or who's going to say, dear ball, I should be playing. Those people just want them with track win last record to be, be hooked. He's a young coach and he wants his win last record to be as high as it can be. Those things are important to them. And we have the conversation. Amateur player cannot play in under 20 World Cup qualifiers. If you try that, and we have always tried it, people, and it has gotten us nowhere. Yes, we did it one time, like in two, like 20 odd years ago. It won't happen again. Because all the players playing against oh, us are large. Yes. So so you want to play under 20 for Jamaica? get yourself into a professional team and start to play that is what i'm oh la it's so, oh, oh, no. <laughs> you started this thing you know with the manning cup you know you come here and say uh, listen to me um if you don't want to play manning cup <laughs> on the other side of the damn professional contract so <laughs> so no see you're trying manning cup players cannot if you're targeting the manning cup it's almost impossible to play for the under 20s yeah. knowing worldwide football because worldwide football has es escalated because sometimes the people think that it's a vendetta thing no football has escalated guys if we, if we pull up the rockets for all the americans and the Canadians and Mexicans, they are professional footballers playing under 20. They are, um, so, Gio Reyna is 20 years old. You know, I wonder if people know that. <laughs> <laughs> Bellingham is 19 years old. These guys are young kids. So, Mr. Speed, I have a point, you know. Let me know if you guys agree with Mr. Speed or not. Because you have some people will still be in their feelings. But I think I like this idea. If you are, if you are 90, you should be professional. Football pass this time of we are trying to blood in people and try to work certain things. I actually agree, Mr. Speed. Uh, I so, don't know if you guys do. Yeah. So what I notice 
if you all notice the the remember even the mls you used to have the college league people everybody was going to college and then they have the famous draft you know mm -hmm. it has been waning over the years it's not so important enough because even the mls clubs are realizing that listen the college can't supply me with the quality that, that we want because they play like two months or three months a year so they're having their own feeder now with professional players from 18 19 20 to feed in their in their in their senior teams because they realize what is happening so those guys are professional from their 18 and that is where the usa is going to pick the players from those guys in those professional leagues playing at usl and them have this other what generation something like that, i can't remember. yes 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 yeah, 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 yeah. all those teams and that is where they're going to play from them playing these leagues they fly all over the country and play football against each other they run yeah yeah, yeah because mm -hmm. uh, oh, oh, one of our players um 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 my, my boy just signed you know that, that played under 23 for us you know um the, what's his name again uh completely forgot the forward completely forgot his name he just signed i saw him hold up his badge and i said congratulations my brother keep on doing work hard work and hopefully reach the mls by the time the next time for jamaica squad so you can be up there you know yes so he just Z zian scarlet he just signed his first can professional contract so mm -hmm. you see so mr speed i think i agree with that mr speed man i think we should set a professionalism thing that um you need to decide you need to decide the future if you're going to play in a national team i know it's going to hurt a lot of people's feelings because uh, I, and that's why we have to ask you know, mr speed um you think that this change of pace like one bam we are, we are doing something for 20 years completely different and over two days we just come with everything different oh oh you think people will receive these things no, it's because it just changes but, you yeah but if they saw the report from conquer because mm -hmm. there's a report that we get that rank jamaica against the rest of countries right we get that report a technical report that tells us oh you're rubbish you rank two out of ten when you come to development you're rank one and a half out of ten when you come. You know the high score we have for referee. And you so saw we bash the referee and they actually mm -hmm. give us like four or something like that for referee or four and a half. That's the ranking they give us for referee. So we, so if we get in these reports every year and looking at them, and then we decide to throw them in the rubbish bin and don't use them. But we notice though that Mexico is going to every World Cup, USA is going to every World Cup, who, who is ranked much a lot ahead of us, then we have to change. And it's, and it's the change we're doing now to make sure, say, you know, we, 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 we are on the cutting edge too. Yeah, man, and we have to agree with you because true, we know persons listening and some of them might don't know. Dam rep just sweeping and made actual damn work up in the head of Jamaica, you know. And and it's just pure money they use, you know. I I cause they never had time for development. They pick a bunch of players from out of America and a bunch of money put together. And they are in the World Cup on the 20s at this point. So I, I do agree, Mr. Speed. I, I think um just agree. And everyone in the chat actually agree. They, they're saying that's that's the way it should go. I, I just because I know that our culture is different, I, I am just worried about the backlash because you have some people they will start disrespect the players them that bring you bring in. And obviously it's a social media age that we are in. So that's why I've always said, oh, is it we are going to make sure we can make sure these guys are safe coming in? Like, not, not physical arm, but mental, like mental space. Because, you know, people can be disrespectful in Jamaica and try to stop the players and those things because they didn't want them to play in the first way. Are we setting anything like that in, in stones? Are, are we are not at that level as it? Well, we don't, we don't think we have that big of a problem yet. Even ourselves, like the last under 20, when we allowed every time they can hurry to be at the training session, we're cutting mm -hmm. out those things because that is where a lot of the abuse start and, and all of that. So, so if you notice, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, these two man, these two man, every time if I talk to one, I don't have to say something. <laughs> all right. I I you said it general, but I I'm telling you half of this chat will say you're talking one person. <laughs> <laughs> no, not really. It's a lot of people. But but like like the under seventeen camp this time was stringent with it. We're just not taking this distraction and shouting and you know people come. You know the last time one of my coach tell me say you know I see this man come up to me. I want to look him up in big gun pan him hip and. Yeah, I was really scared. <laughs> yeah, I, was saying, I said, then, oh, you allow the people to be, the change, to be there. I mean, it's not like Miami. It's not illegal, right? 
I say, but you know these people, I don't go to the training. So I don't, I, I'm not there. I don't know what is happening. So I said, how do you allow, you know, where's the security? I mean, I don't understand you. You know, and um, based on that, we say, no, we have to change the whole concept of how we do things because actually that is how they do things overseas. Probably the first time otherwise from... You, you, can, you can go in here, but media media is completely different. Um, yeah. Media yeah. is be, solely based on ed education overseas. So the people that goes there, they know the rules and everything, and they know the, the, the places that they should not pass. And they are very much more different. So I agree yeah, with And you, they tell you 15 you. minutes, you come out after 15 minutes, yes. they don't worry yes. for the rest of the session. They have their rules and everybody have their... Yes, they that's 100% that's, that's that. true. That's 100% right. true. So, so, so um, we have to get on top of everything to, 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 to control what you just say. Um, so we were just lax. I remember one time I went to a training session with the senior team, and every time the senior team take a break, like 50 kids will just run out on the field and start to kick back. And I was say, what? I mean, when you go to some countries, you know, is M16, the man in my book, you can't go near the field, not at all. Fox, 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 <laughs> right? Fox, yeah. So, you know, so... We we really have to fix those things, and it's, and it's so much, and it's those things to fix into it so that when players come, they won't get that hostile treatment, you know, at the training level. Because after they pass the training level and met the squad, you know, I don't think anything bothered them anymore. But if if yeah. they just come to try out and and they get in hostility, I think you know. So we're looking at those things. The other thing though is say, we're not deserting our local players. So nobody for one minute believes say we have to desert our our local players. Right, so at the lower level, and it's difficult to not to have most of the Jamaican players at the lower level, under 14, under 15 level. You know why? Because players under 16 need chaperones, you know. You can't just mm -hmm. take people, kids, and just especially girls and bring them to Jamaica and them not have the proper security and the proper persons assigned to them to make sure that they're welfare is a hundred percent so definitely at a level it's more difficult for us to to full up the team up here people from overseas so at the lower level we will have that protection for the local kids so we have to build our industry but you know why i don't think it's going to be a problem remember we just talked about it i think our players are up to 14 15 can compete with the mm -hmm. best in the world i do have no issues at that point it's really after that then we start to see the difference in the players in terms of them football knowledge. Sometimes it's not even the technical knowledge, just the football knowledge and the tactical knowledge. And that is why I, I believe once we, we move our coaching in line with that type of development and, and the other organization, I think they'll be able to compete with the overseas players on an even footing. So I, I'm not even worried about it after, after a while. In the next two, three years, I won't be worried about it. I will leave the locals there. Okay, okay, guys, we have 140 people in the chat. Thanks very much for being here. Make sure to subscribe, resubscribe to the channel, get us back to 20,000, and um, get the, up the likes on the video. If you don't hit the like, uh, people will not find this video, all right? So get the likes over 150 because it's deserved. We can't have Mr. Speed here. We don't have Mr. Speed every single day. And Mr. Speed reserved these conversations for here, you know, because when I watch him, you know, he's not talking these things like he, he knows who's going to bat him up, you know. I say, yo, Mr. Speed, I want you. You can't, you can't say that. What do you mean? What got me with you with them? <laughs> so Mr. Speed out here telling you everything today because he, he can't repeat this again. I'm telling you. <laughs> we have to chop it up. We have to chop it up in small bits to make sure people hear every word Mr. Speed say. But um, yeah, so just, we have 149. Just keep swashing the like button, man. Keep sharing the thing. Let me have a good night. Um, and Mr. Speed, is it possible to make the CONCACAF report? Reports you mentioned available to the public. Um, question assuming there is no confidential info on it. I never thought about it, to be honest, <laughs> if, if we should make it um, available to the public. But let me do my a little background check. I've made it available to like all the Paris presidents. So I don't think it's a private anyway, because I mean, I, 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 we, we, our, our, our committee went to dissect it. And that's how we came up with a lot of the plans that you see we have. Because we do have a strategic plan for the country of football we do have one and we're sticking to it passed by the board in writing um i just need to make sure that nobody else have an issue with it. And me personally don't have an issue with it the only thing i want to say is that like our strategic plan 
I've never really seen another country philosophy or strategic plan put up on a website. So I don't know if it's something that countries do, you know, because they probably don't want it, other people to see what their, their secrets oh, are. No, I don't think if it's secrets, they don't need to put it out, but okay. maybe like not things that like a broad plan, like what we have, like what, what, for instance, Brian Burke, he's in America. Um, he, he wants to see a plan that can he can facilitate his kids through that system. So if you guys have a, a brochure with any uh, long-standing plan, if you could give them more to them, you know, like maybe something, if you don't have it now, you can, can give it because no, no, you I'll, want I'll people overseas to feel comfortable. Yeah, I never thought about it, but let me just check before I decide if it can. I mean, let me check with some other people first. I, I can't make decision by myself. Let me check with some because, other people. The reason why I've said that, you know, because what I realized, maybe you don't look. Kevin De Bruyne, Kevin De Bruyne, he's on his own from 13 years old. Obviously, it's in Europe, so it's different. So he left. He left from different places. He went to live with different people and everything. Some of these kids at 15 years old, they are already seasoned travelers. Just Z and Scarlett, you know, they're traveling from plane to plane, just as what you said in, in America, you know, from 15, in Lashan Brown, they're traveling from 15 around doing their thing. So they are grown up. So maybe all we perceived our 15 year olds in, in Jamaica, it's on a different level with these guys overseas. So <coughs> some of them might could make it here. So, but they just want the assurance of, that they know that, yes, this is a proper program and they are, they have my, my kids' best interest at heart. So let me, I can send them, you know, some of the families that the, even, even, no, I don't need to talk about it, but even a parent, she wanted to send the kid after she got the letter, but it's like at the same day, around three, five people get shot in, in, in a location in Jamaica and she just gets scared and <laughs> <laughs> I know she don't tell the kid, you know, but maybe she, yeah, I, I'm not talking to that conversation, but you know, sometimes they, they need more information because people yeah. kind of feel free at times, you know? Yeah. No, because the truth is, um, we, we, we know that Jamaica, yeah, it, it, there's violence, but majority of the country is safe, 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 safe. Nothing's going to happen to you there. So it's for you to, us to educate the parents and say, no, 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 no. What is the possible reasons? Because usually, when you have those, there's a possible reason. It isn't, it's, mm -hmm. it's, yes. And it's small, it's not a widespread thing, and it's confined to certain areas. So, so, yeah, we have to, we have to um, inform the people properly. I mean, there's two guys in the USA, too. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Mr. Mr. Speedy cannot because they are they are gonna tell you that it's three hundred thirty million in U United States and it's yeah, three million people in Jamaica. Yeah, so yeah. they're gonna use metrics. I am not gonna yeah. win. You're not going to win. I'm yeah, telling I you. Know. I, I know. <laughs> yeah, you <laughs> all right, sending the question so that we can just pass that. All right, sending the question. All right, so Z XY says um, he doesn't believe that Jamaican kids up to an, uh, no, 15 year 15 year olds old can truly compete with other kids. Then, um, and we, we I, that is something I, you need to explain to them a little bit more why you think they can compete at 15 years old, or you think back then because no you, you didn't have any um any report to really check it if that is valid because 81 the last two times in the caribbean the last three times in the caribbean dominated every single time um and no um we missed out on a, on a lot of um worldwide under 15 programs so how can we still say that we can compete with all under 15s when the last six six four no four and a half years we have not competed with no under 15s worldwide i'm, not, that I'm not going to say we can compete with mm -hmm. everyone worldwide i'm just saying that physically um mm -hmm. we are probably advanced um pace i we, i remember i was playing against Tottenham at spring and a 15 tournament in Cayman, and they just couldn't manage busy he was just unplayable with his pace mm -hmm. so there and i've gone to sweden and we have played against teams from sweden they also sooner that six nil we gave them because they couldn't manage our pace Co um this team from this La Liga, you know, they just couldn't manage the pace that we run at. Um, nothing else. Okay. I mean, and we're not that crafty with football at under 15. And we have played against teams like FC Dallas 4-0. I mean, I've, I, we've gone to 
Mexico in under 16 and we have one match against the host team. I mean, look, I'm not, they are better than us in terms of coaching and tactically and all of those things. But I'm just saying that a lot of instances we are able to compete almost on an even speed um, with those teams at those days. I don't, I, I'm not going to be, I wouldn't be afraid of playing any team in under 15 with a good under 15 Jamaica team. I wouldn't be afraid. I'm not saying they're not going okay. to win, but I wouldn't be afraid. That's really what I want. That's right. Okay, okay, okay. All right. So, um, the national team, what should we expect? Because um, we have, I'm going to bring up the, the Jamaica team so you can, you can get the records if you don't have it directly. I know. Um, we have um, the Nations League coming up. How serious are we taking this Nations League? Because we are oh. in a we, we are in a position right now, you know, that we could possible. We, 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 I'm trying to get it on the screen. We could possible actually yeah. go to the next round. I'm not saying that we're gonna win it. I don't want to put too much pressure on the, the guys. I'm just coming in. Because we have Mexico now. We have Mexico, and we are in a good position. So are well, we trying to? Mexico, to... No, man, mm -hmm. you know, I have to tell you, it's something that we got to already, man. Me and the coach, we got to it in the planning stages. So. If we beat Mexico, we reach a semi-final of the nation. Yes. The nation. Yes. Direct and, to the semi-finals. And, yeah. and we still get to play a third and fourth whether we go to the final or not. Mm, yes, yes, yes. So we know that would give us two practice games in June so that we can go straight into the Gold Cup afterwards. And more money. And more money. So <laughs> our aim is to throw everything on the kitchen sink and carry the best team we can find, I don't care what them born, to play in this game against Mexico. And we're also All right. sure it's one game we have in the transfer in that um, window, FIFA window, yeah. and we're going to mm -hmm. make sure that we prepare properly before we jet over um, Mexico to try and do the business. So we know how important that game is. It's probably the most consequential game for 2023 if we win mm -hmm. that game. It just set up our program for the rest of the year beautifully. All right. So, guys, uh, make sure to look out for that game. Mr. Speed said they are trying to get everybody for that game because that game is very much important. Because remember, you know, if you, you, you we have already qualified for the Gold Cup, but remember, you have money on the line for the competition and a lot more things tied into the competition. All right. So, I think what if and if Jamaica can't, Jamaica can't, this, this has transfers on the line, everything on the line, because people always be looking for players. So, I think this is a match that we should go out and try and, and go at a wounded uh, Mexican team. Even though I thought that Mexico performed very good and was very much unlucky not to qualify for the second round because Poland is trash. Poland is, Mexico is better than Poland. I'm sure of Mexico better than Poland. You know, but because Poland just went and lay down to France. Like, I don't like football like that, man. You can't play. You go fought so hard that you play three minutes of football in the latter stage. I'm not into that, man. Mexico is a better team, man. You know, so I think Mexico will, will give us a stern test. Stern test. Mexico is, I don't know where, oh, how can they be in this region and, and, and find so much footballers? I, I don't know. How is that possible? Because they no, never looked out of shape on the big stage. No, but Mexico has 123 million people living there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They have 10,000 semi-pro and professional clubs. 10,000? 10, no, no, sorry. Oh. They have 10,000 professional players. 10,000 okay, professional okay. players playing in Mexico. And they have... Oh, okay. So, so you can see Jamaica has... <laughs> And maybe around a thousand, we have we have a lot, we have a lot, we have almost a thousand are not semi pro pro, but people interested in football. Four hundred and twenty professional players we have in Jamaica. I remember we were oh, down by putting some more amateurs in there. You, you see, you see, you see how the argument come back full circle. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, 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 we have to prove to the people <laughs> that you're talking so the truth. So when the reasoning good, it goes back exactly to what you're talking. Okay, yeah. cool. That's so, so. So that is why. We need to up this. Of course, we have. We last time we count, we have 170 players playing overseas. 170, yeah, probably more than that. But I think from that were born in Jamaica. I think we have 100 mm -hmm. something that were born in Jamaica. And of course, we have others that naturalize. Um, but if you look at our pool, it's still probably less than a thousand to choose from. But Mexico have 10,000 professional players to choose from, and their leagues are better, and that is why they have such a big advantage. But when we look at the Mexico team, as I said before. 
<coughs> not really taking no stones and turning. I hope they don't know. We realize that Mexico, from one World Cup to the other World Cup, increased their passing by 9%. So they went the possession route. But they scored okay, one okay. goal less this time. That's why and they didn't go to, they scored one goal less. You know, they took more shots, was not quality shot. What we found that they were going against the trend of the World Cup and where the world was going. Because the world was the world was not keeping so much position again this World Cup. Like no, no. You, you heard Morocco's coach speech. <laughs> no, I didn't hear. But, <laughs> He's um, burning on and coming. You, 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 you're going to pass 50,000 pass? I don't care. If yeah. I'm going to pass five passes and I'm going to score, that is what we are here for. Right. So, <laughs> so the coaches were very contented with, to play without the ball. And but Mexico was didn't want to do that. They wanted to play with the ball, but their yeah. penetration was less. They take a lot of shots and not quality shots, while the world was more patient to get quality shots in. So they went against every single thing that the world was doing. The successful team was doing at the World Cup. They were going the other direction, but the coach is not there anymore. So it gives us a problem now because what are they going to do? We don't know when they come up. And face. Okay. But, but, we but did, they don't but know what Jamaica was going to do either. I'll tell you that to tell you how serious we were. About okay, okay, at okay. Right. Because okay, we didn't right. know what they were doing. Okay, okay, all right. So, guys, that, that's what I like. And I heard that the coach was actually at the World Cup. And I said yeah. that was a brilliant was idea. There. Because at least you're looking at the, the top teams in the region and what they're doing, you know. And uh, so surprising, we keep on saying Costa Rica have this old team. Two of the best footballers them right now in the camp can, 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 is they are in Costa Rican team and they are under 20. <laughs> they're under 20 years old. So um you, you understand me? So you see, see you see the need to keep the professional professional at the under 20s upwards. Because those two kids, you know, um, um they, they played Aguilera and um, Bennett, they, they played part of I think Aguilera played around 80 minutes with against Jamaica and Bennett played on in only maybe half because remember he plays for the national team and they needed him. So I'm just trying to show you that you have these players there. They're making their transitions. So um, that's where I'm trying to come now with the conversation because I need to take for the people. I can't just bombard you with my questions, then, but I need to take some of the people questions. So guys, send your questions in. But what all I'm trying to say is the transitions. Oh, how frequent are we going to see those transitions? Because we have Bennett and those guys that came through the Costa Rican ranks. Obviously, they have a better, better league than the JPL. So it's hard for me to take JPL players out but we have that substitute that we can just take clear from foreign and put in the national team how much of those transitions are we going to see coming in the future like how we see we saw bennett and aguilera coming in are we going to see the goalkeeper being apart faster or you, you think that the coach will take his time or you don't have any idea on that no 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 we're not we're very prepared this time around and we're talking about it one of the we are now talking about a transition coach. So he's going to assess the players. We don't know if we'll employ the person, but we're talking about it. So it's a good start. So the transition coach is supposed to transition the player from under 20 to the senior team. He's supposed to work with that player, you know, under 17, under 20, to say, hey, look here, you need to do this and this and this and this and this and this. So it could be something simple like you're too weak. Right? And you need to, mm -hmm. It could be something simple like you know you're one footed, you need to work on the next the next foot. It could be it could be simple things like the past completion rate of 75. You're good, but we need it up to 85. So we, we're going through all of those conversations. As I said before, some it is all about money, but we, we, we we're not skipping any beat now. We know what we want to do. And, and we're having all of the conversations about. So there's, there's, we're talking about an active transition coach from the lower league to carry the players up to the senior team. All right, fair enough. Um, thanks, um, thanks, um, football, um, global for the, the super chat. Massive respect. Brian says, Mr. Speed, our senior men's team is going, is aging. We just asked that one. We just asked that one because it came in my mind, but you guys already had it in the chat. Wow. Okay, yes, yes. Because that's why I had to ask Mr. Speed. But Mr. Speed out here researching, so I have to eat him with facts, you know, so he can't <laughs> divert from what I'm saying, you know. So that Costa Rica one is good because people class Costa Rica as the old team when they have some of the best young players playing in the national, the, and the national team at this point. Obviously, they came in on the latter side, 
but they were the ones um, integral towards the the final run in order to make the World Cup. So uh, that showcase that they are they are good for the next cycle. Obviously, they will need more players, and Jamaica have that advantage. Um, um, a DJ Geek said, I'm Maxi Football, just a reach. I don't know if, if this was asked. Um, Amari Hutchinson, good for the upcoming squad for these games. Mr. Speed explained that part to say that they tried to get him the last time, but obviously he's in a professional, he's in the Chelsea's main team. It's hard for you to get players out. No, it's impossible. impossible. They're not going to send them. <laughs> yes. They're not going to send them. So the only way you can get them is when um, the um, FIFA, FIFA window. windows. Yeah, but what we have to ask, you know, is it directly now? Because if you make this man play four or five games in the way, they're allowed him and attack with him at the next hazard. You know? Oh, he, he, he's, he's on the board for we have to cap this man. That's, that's what we are trying to do right now, Mr. Speed, because that's what the people want to hear. Because I think if he plays three, four games, you know, because when he came yeah. on, you know, and create those chances, you know, um, that, that, England there is a speed, and, and I told you about what they're saying. They're saying, like like with Antonio, you hear him talking about Antonio should have not played for Jamaica. He should have just stayed and played for England. So they, they kind of have a little attitude against Jamaica, stealing the players them. So are we trying to get Ochinse immediately? Um, You know, some, you know, I said this a lot of times on people. Some people try to not to listen to what I say. I really don't interfere in who the coach picking you know? I don't know who is going to pick next or who is trying to pick. We just discuss policy, plans, and how we get make life easy for the coaching staff and their teams. I don't even go to training sessions. I don't know who they're going to pick, who I'm going to call. I don't know if him like coaching staff and don't like coaching staff. I don't have those conversations mm -hmm. because yeah, I really yeah. don't need to know those things. So I really don't know. But I know that he, me and him speak about players and he's searching every player in the galaxy that have Jamaican connection. And he told me they have 250 players that they're looking at. I would be flabbergasted to believe that Ochin is not, <laughs> Ochin <sees> not on <laughs> it. <laughs> yes, okay. Well, then that makes sense. But we just want to make sure. Why I ask the question like straightforward is just because I know that he must be on that list. Like, it's yeah, uh, yeah. he's, uh, he's uh, one that will be on the list, you know? Yes. Yeah, so, and, uh, and Giovanni asked the same question as well. All right, damn, the, the question are coming. Yo, guys, at two hours, my plan here. Mr. Speed ended up on better time than me at, at what, five o'clock for Mr. Speed? Him? Or six o'clock. Six o'clock? Six oh nine now, yeah. Okay, at twelve oh nine for me now, you know. So <laughs> um Jamaica Jamaica now get Hutchinson until he can't play for England. No, no, they don't don't say that. Don't say that. Um the guy came for the under twenties. I don't know what took place with the under twenties, why he never played. But he came here, so you can't see a man that came here would not want to play for Jamaica. I know, no, we can't look at it that way, mad vibes. And remember, sometimes the kids they might be watching and say, "Can't I tell the kid that he doesn't want well, to give a and I don't, but he and tried I don't to come. And there was a significant event, you see, for people mm -hmm. to follow the game. Remember when England played in the Euro and England missed all mm -hmm. those penalties? You remember what happened mm -hmm. to some of those players? Yes, that is that significant event. I don't know. I, I don't think I need to explain it anymore. But that was a significant event. Yes, and I think a lot of these guys <laughs> made their mind up. So I yeah. don't think we're going to get them twisting so easy. You're, yeah. you're going to get a lot of them, man. Yes. Yeah. Um, Ochinso will be in the England U20 squad if we are not careful. I think he's going to come here. I, if it's not one, I think he's the one that will choose Jamaica. Um, and the next one that that was actually at Arsenal as well. He, he kid or Taylor Art. He seems like he really likes Jamaica. Um, DJ Giggs, um, I'm it. Um, I know it got to be um, on FIFA window for him to be released. Okay, yes, yes, yes. So we can't ask the question why he never came at the last one because they couldn't get him, all right? Um, uh, uh, Rich Bow, long question, my God. Mr. Speed mentioned getting the best uh, we can um, get our hands on. That's, that is different from simple the best player. Or do we encourage the 12th man and social media to not grab for the drama? But I think they, at least here, I, Mr. Speed can't cuss. We don't say we have drama anymore. We actually support them because they gave us all of the speeches that we wanted to hear. So, all right, all right Mr. Speed, Mr. Rich Powell gave you a long um, a question, you know? <laughs> right. So one of the things that we noticed in the last four or five months since we employed this coach is that 
and uh, we employed um, Dennis Chung, and we went for the marketing guru. Um, what's his name again? If you remember yours, I forget the name of that project. Uh, <clears throat> and you can see that we're kind of on a different trajectory. So it's not business as usual. It's business unusual. We're not doing anything that we used to do usually. So don't expect that from the JFF. Everything that we're doing is, 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 is keeping in modern trends, new things. We change the way how people select the president. It's now 56 person vote from 13. Those are significant mm -hmm. changes. Um, so anybody think that the JFF is going to be run again like what it used to run, that, that's not going to happen. So one of the things that we change from is picking coach with potential and with picking coaches who are tried and proven. So there shouldn't be no whole of drama, right? There should be, you have this straight professional person in operation, knows what he's about. You might not agree with him, mm -hmm. but him now goes straight from his convictions and wishy washy all over the place and talk about, you know, him going to be a straight professional with the players. So players who have not say in a who play, this coach is not like that. He's not going to listen to players or me or the president. These people prefer walk away than to take talk, you know. That's that's the type of person we employ. He might just walk away more than take a talk. And if he don't believe that him can of course he'll have conversation with people and talk about it. But he'll still have come to his own conclusion. Um the, the, the goalkeeper coach or we have one of the highest rated goalkeeper coach in the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did some research, research. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. These are not joke people. So you don't expect people who see us to come here and joke around or people clone them out. You can't clone out these people. So I am not worried. We do the same thing with him. With it. You know something? A lot of people don't even realize the women's team had issues. You know, so we clean up that. We have a coaching staff. All of them have contract. Them, and them we have to do them things for Ghana World Cup. You know, you're in a drama over there. The men's, we have contract with all of them to the end of 2023. You know, you're in a drama. Of course, we're going to negotiate with them again. Right? But if you notice, it's just one or two isolated incidents, you know. You know, in a drama, you know. Mm -hmm. You notice, you know, in a drama. we up front. Something come up, chung it. Address it up front. Then come up with the five player rule, something foolishness. You see me address it up front. We have people mm -hmm. have to address every single thing up front. You might not like the answer, but we have to address it. We now hide and we'll tell us what our opinion are. You might not agree, but we put it out front and tell you what it is. This is not a right. the FF anymore. Okay, so yeah. so so straightforward. What took place the last time? Because no, I at first I thought that um maybe the a lot of things never made will qualify, but we realized that um, the, the, the cohesive um, banding was not in the team. You're saying that that's not going to fly this time around because the coach looking to make sure those are the strengths. Yes. Maybe because these are proper coaches. He so understands team not, building. Yeah. He understands team building. That's yes. all the persons. Right. And if and, and I spoke to him and if he, he said, oh, I'm not afraid to crack the whip. If a player don't want to be a part of it, I'm not afraid to let them go, and, and I believe him. All right. So, so people, um, I'm very sorry. You know we have a split uh, a split audience sometimes, but tell you what, any player you see on the field, that simply means that the player that want to represent Jamaica, F period. All right? So no, no matter the feel away, if it, it don't argue, if it don't see the player, he, he see the player don't get picked because the player don't look like him either the quality to perform Jamaica or either the quality, the art to perform for Jamaica and what is required by these coaches. That's I don't know. People might believe that with my talk to Mr. Speed because I've been saying the same things. I think this is the man where I gotta come and do these things. This is exactly what I expect. That's why I wanted a person like this to come here. Because I know that this, these men get paid, they have the reputation in line, and they want when they leave here, they can get a next job. So they want to do a, a good job here to say that they came in the CONCACAF and did a super job. So we are ready for the next next task, or we're gonna re up. We want more money from Jamaica or something. You know, if something is on the line for them, so they are trying, it's not just them that being here, they want the money. No, something is on the line for them. So, yeah, I, I, I like that answer, Mr. Speed. Uh, what are the policies? Uh, what, what are the policies you have in place for express uh, proc procurement um, of players' passport? 
Um, All right. I'm not the administrator, I know. That's that's I'm not the administrator. That is definitely I am technical. That is that is Gensec admin team manager, which is administration. I, that's not I can't tell I can't help you. I'm sorry. All right, all right. Um, a JD drama is all over the world. Um, is OJ fifth deal with the players? No, no, I think I think the coach have to do his job. The coach come here to do his job. J fifth should not interfere. The man said, You see me, that player don't good enough, or I don't think this, this coach plays a bad seed. Um, he just don't mean the team. Simple as that. And Jamaica people just need to just realize that uh, the man come from it, Jamaica qualify. So stop with the friend thing. I think these drama, you know, lead by the friend things, you know, like the people who just prefer set of man's, you know, and them don't care about. Jamaica, you know, that's what I said on my program. There's a speed a lot of them people, them don't want and a Jamaica, them loving the man, them, them loving you know. because <laughs> I think them a five years set a man. Jamaica. <laughs> no, no, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, I, forgot, <laughs> forgot, I forgot that on Jamaica, no. but all I'm trying to say is they are not fighting for the cause, they are fighting for the individuals. Because remember, you know, when I just came here, you know, I never knew what's going on in the Jamaican category, you know. <laughs> Built my video when I heard the story about man one seven thousand, you know. And when I did my research, I'm seeing that okay, um, America get thirteen thousand, the highest paid one, Mexico six thousand five hundred. Jamaica no better than Mexico, so why you want seven thousand dollar? But England, like England get two thousand. Yeah, but England two thousand is not like pay. They are just getting some little stipend here and there, and they give it to charity. They don't want it. To, friends, they give them money to charity. No, but, all, all, but all I'm trying to say to the people, I'm, and they bond me out, you know, a man call me and tell me, my mother, and I owe me a work for JF, or JF get overseas man now for come and tell them lie and I'm here saying, no, I'm just trying to see see how, how far the money can stretch because me know well, that okay, the money we can't afford gets. it anyway, so you don't make no difference. We just can't afford it. <laughs> After we after we go the World Cup qualifier, we broke, broke, broke. We use up everything. Yeah. Charter flight. Come on, we couldn't even pay somebody. But if you, if you, if, but if you, dev, you never deliver the proper the quality, you cannot ask money we, we, because you are getting money at your club. Other co players from Mexico getting money at their clubs, uh, because Jamaica cannot have the highest paid players them. Especially players them that's asking for a contract never had earned the highest paid. You have the same Mexicans them in the same league in the MLS getting more money than the Jamaican players them. So if they are taking less money to play for their country, um, that's a thing. So I think all of those things was just propagated by people rather than mm -hmm. rather than uh, we we just need to go out and love love the country. That's all I'm gonna say. Bless up yourself, pig, and massive respect, massive respect. Um any any updates with the YouTube page, Mr. Speed? Okay, all right. This is YouTube page. Okay, all right, Mr. Speed. All, so, I can, oh, all, all, I can YouTube you, all I can say to you mm -hmm. is we know putting a marketing the one a marketing committee headed by Chris Derrick, which is top brand, top class, right? And we're mm -hmm. in the process of employing a marketing director, which is our next top person from corporate Jamaica. Those person will be responsible for all of those things that they're asking me about. I'm technical, so we we don't have any. We, 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 not, we don't have a we call it a commercial site as yet. That's what I would call it a commercial site. Mm -hmm. Include all of those things. But I am sure the people that I just tell you headed by Mr. Chris Darren, they will fix it in 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 in, 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 in so I'm so who, who, who who are you going to sign? Because you need to sign the superstars, then you know. So you, you need you need to sign some of the superstars, <laughs> them to come and co come and, and connect the bridge with the people, then you know. Yeah, I can't, so you, you need to I sit down and think about that. I, I can't <laughs> help it, Mister Darren thing, and and the other person who we are almost there now to sign on, and the marketing director. So they those people will take care of that. Okay, okay. All right. So um Pagan says thanks for Sidella for fixing the girl side. Yes, Sidella played her part one hundred percent. And I, I think a lot of things went on um around around the gym, but we we just don't know. Um Shakpo said, glad for this interview. Well, it's the, uh, Mr. Speed planning at this year. Mr. Speed did plan it out and I'm editing because I asked Mr. Speed for something and Mr. Speed said, Yes, I'm gonna come on. So <laughs> I don't know, I'm Mr. Speed plan it. So everybody that turn up is Mr. Speed, send them come here. All right. Yes. Yeah. Um, Dennis um is the best addition um in the biz in the business world. Good individual to have um in a company. Okay, okay. Um, based on the lack of experience um for the the Jamaican coaches in, in Jamaica League, what plans the JFF 
got moving forward to get them the experience. You, you talked about that, uh, Mr. Speed. Uh, yeah, you, 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 you touched on it earlier. Maybe me and you. So what, Slightly, yeah. So what is happening is that um, with the coaches that we're going to be employing for all the teams are going to be experienced. So if, if you see what happened on the male side, Al Grimson is the head coach. His assistant, John Wall, is the head for the under 20. His other assistant, Brian Gard, is the head for the under 17. So you see the progression there. I mean, there's the synergy and there's the direct connection between all of those teams. And of course, Andrew Peart will deal with the under 15. On the women's side, we do, we, we're trying to do the same thing, but we haven't tied down the under 20 or the under 17 coach for the women teams as yet. We have two local coaches here. Sorry, all those teams will have a local coach as the assistant. Both the senior under 20, which Marcel Gere still will retain his assistant role. And, uh, and as you know, the under 17, um, Vasa Reynolds is a part of that. With, with, with. So, so, so there's this seamless integration of all the teams um, with Art Grimson, who's the head of them all. On the women's side, we're looking for coaches for the under 20 and the under 17. And again, we, we are, we, there's nobody in Jamaica that can get those jobs. So we're looking overseas. So as I say again, we're not looking for potential. We, we'll finish with that. But we're still not leaving out the Jamaicans because we have two women, local Jamaican women that will work with those coaches, but we're looking for coaches from overseas to head up those two. Teams. All right, all right. So Mr. Speed now, because I'll, the amount of question for you, oh, this is personal from me now, um, because when I heard... Because I think you guys need to fix the, the way our information comes out. And obviously, you said that's going to be improved by the marketing yeah. manager. So it's yeah. going to be improved. Mm -hmm. um, because when we heard that um, the, the first of January, uh, we're going we're, we're gonna to release the deal. Um, we packing up now. We said we're going to start video to buy jerseys mm -hmm. and give away to people. Then we don't have a clue. We just hear that, oh, yes, the deal mm -hmm. starts. So can we get some clarity on it? Mm -hmm. And when are we going to get some clarity? So we can just punch your thing, get our jersey, and then we can come on, on the screen. Yeah. Come show, so we, we actually yeah, support it's Jamaica. Not, it's not my expertise. May I, have to, may, I have to, may I have to tell you that? But my understanding is that Adidas themselves will be selling a jersey from their shops, shops worldwide. It's not just Jamaica. Will, you know, will be yeah, yeah, but should it not be Jamaica giving you the dates, like the dates when it's going to be released, or we should check Adidas and the release I, dates? I, I am, I am not okay with with what is happening in the jersey this year. I, that's not, okay. it's not my thing. I am not okay. With it. Okay, okay, all right then. So we 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 left in the dark with that yeah, one because yeah, that I'm, is something yeah. that we are we are. I'm gonna try investigate. Don't know yeah. who I can ask. I don't know. Um, oh, guys, um, get to 250 likes. Uh, we have more than 150 people here, and I think we're asking the right questions. Obviously, I know half of the people won't like what we're asking because we always have a fight here between local and overseas. But I think a lot of people locally start respect what we're trying to do because they saw that it's the future, and we have to just get with it. We are, we are born oh, locally. We are born locally just the same, but we want Jamaica to win. So sometimes it's not going to sound like what you want. Because I heard a lot of you guys comments and you have a lot of questions to ask. But Mr. Speed, clear it up. Um, it's not about where you're born, it's just where what's required in order to get the job done. Because you cannot have some man that never have the education towards something. I go up with some man them have the education from five years old and they are 20 now. So they are they 20. Two decades and they are already having that education for one and a half decade <laughs> so it's hard for you to beat them so we, we need it and remember at the end of the day you know i've always said this to people mr speed and i said a foolish this may talk i said um jamaica is one of the biggest if jamaica qualified for maybe two back-to-back -back world cups and we can put in like 15 16 different infrastructures in the country especially in the poorer areas them we can slow down crime significant because at least you're leading towards something. And a man click on MTV and see Michael Antonio, Ethan Pinock, Leon Bailey a play and see where Leon Bailey reach. Because everybody can type in transfer mark, you know, and see a man value one point at billion Jamaican dollars. So he, he, he sees a future and you're giving him a ball field to play on. That can change things. The man must say a foolish thing to talk about. I mean, I say, no, in every country when you go to, Mr. Speed, when you go to Netherlands, you, you go to these places. Every street you go on, it's an next ball field. Well, I every went to, street and the next stadium. Say, yeah, the place that I've visited and walk around was Sweden. And um we I went to the Gotia Cup 
and they was they were using in the city 110 fields they were using the all right all right thank 110 you 110 field a majority of the fields are not owned by any club they are owned by the municipality and what happens is that you book your time you better make sure you say you discipline you and, and take your time when you book your car stay up on your half hour after you put or uh, even a minute you probably go to jail if you try to impinge for the next man time but that's all the thing is so the the, the fields are are kept by the by the, the municipality and also uh, what i found also uh, was extraordinary that each club is paid an allowance depending on the amount of persons you have in your club training throughout the year that yes was yes yes incentives <laughs> yes. they're in they're telling you they're paying you to keep the kids them yes, yes it works in belgium as well yes. so th these are the things that that's what i'm saying I, i'm telling you if just like how we make dance hall is a thing and all the little kids don't know it if football is a thing the kids are going to know it every time i look outside i saw some little kid operating like they're in the new messes and i'm saying damn if Jamaica could get this man, this is a different opportunity. Ryan says, Mr. Speed, now that we are putting these things in place, what is the plan to make sure that we can watch the games going forward? I, like maybe the girls' games the other day. Um, Wait a the, the, which games? Premier League or national team? I, I think he means I, I think he means the, 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 the national team going forward because we struggled to get um, the, the, the girls' game the last time. I, I, I've never seen you know, so much people um um call we out you know what we have to do get one of our subscribers to go to the game film it and then put it on the channel so we have to be the own tvj how are we going to fix these things now you know that um <laughs> television rights is a complex issue um so it depends on on where you mean the games that are playing in jamaica or the games that are playing overseas I think they want to play in Jamaica because the overseas ones we can figure out ways how to get okay. it from different yeah. um, broadcasters. So the one that play in Jamaica, one of the problems is it, I think we had was <laughs> a lot of the, the stations want us to pay them to show the game, and that is where the problem start. Because Jamaica is still backward when it comes to um, television and in, in, even the JPL. Some of the time we have to pay money for it to show certain games. So that is really the problem we have. The kids a cultural problem, but we don't fix it. I mean, can't tell you when it will fix anytime soon. Because um, if we have to pay, it's like we, you know, it's difficult, very difficult. So even with the deal for the for the Premier League now, um, we don't pay. But we have to treat us up like the, the 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 people sponsor us, so so that is so we are a little bit backward in terms of television coverage in Jamaica and how they go about it. Um, there's a change though, for the better, so we have to just kind of hold tight till it it happens. So it's, it's still gonna be a problem. That oh, wow. Okay. Wow. Okay. <laughs> we have to pay them. Okay. Wow. What ab what about understanding the culture by the new coaches? Ah, uh, they're going to learn, Warren, you're in a Canada, Warren, these guys are fast learners. So one other thing about old. the new coaches, you see, and when I spoke to Algrims why he was ideal for Jamaica, Iceland have 340,000 persons, right? So, right, when they were qualifying for the World Cup, the country itself was going through a financial crisis. There was a meltdown in the economy. So is a person who understands what that he had to make do with a small amount of resources because what was happening to the country and if you know the country iceland of course is a, is fairly developed but still at the same time they have a lot of limitations so this is a coach that knows how to work in a difficult environment not dissimilar to jamaica and that is why we kind of choose him because um we think he'll, he'll adapt very quickly and being here um for a couple you know a couple of weeks the last time <laughs> um mm, you know i saw him some guys was digging up a place outside of the place that he stayed because he stayed in a gated community and then he was out there taking the picker and digging too with the guys <laughs> i mean it was just amazing he said he was doing it for exercise but this is the type of person based on where he, he came from iceland he's very friendly willing to mix with, with with the crowd willing to do whatever they are doing 
very active um his coming his family i don't think it's gonna be an issue for him to integrate and learn the culture as as it relates to john john has been here numerous times before um so jamaica is not a stranger to him um when we went to sweden he was there also we, we, we saw him in sweden he's probably swedish and the grumpy he has been all over the world <laughs> he's he is the person who has traveled all over the world working for fifa teaching coaches goalkeeper coaches how to coach so i don't think it is an issue i think they'll fit in the first mr speed it's no issues for these people to integrate no. remember the, the problem you know we as a country lack social skills um for, at, at all levels and i like to spread it over it's just mm -hmm. people that goes to the highest level of schooling get that ability my wife is more jamaican than me you know? I don't know oh it happened you know and she's white you know <laughs> she's white <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> so they, they they just have that natural skill my little nine-year-old kid uh, no seven-year-old kid she she's just the the, the the teacher said she never saw people persons like her they are, they, they, it's just natural these people know how to socialize so i don't think you should worry about that yes pastor and cataract tell me that my wife are more jamaican than me you know <laughs> they never know mrs c they never knew that you speak her language because when she chance change over to jamaican you can't believe mrs speed they would have dropped down they said geez how this possible the belgium have some the speech patterns you, you wonder mm. how them do it they can change from a one different Different language to an extent language weird but me look she's not gonna come on on these things she she she, <laughs> she already <laughs> talk about every time i come on i try to save jamaica and the people don't like me <laughs> yeah, yeah but i'm telling her she, she have to understand where i come from still she's not gonna understand yeah, she come from belgium um question um question boss asking if we have according to mr speed a new style um jff jd and mr speed do we need listen to me me in a mr speed conversation i mr speed they hear mr speed interview say talk to mr speed <laughs> do we need a new style slash approach social media no but are you social concerned media... about social media no 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 but look here if if chung will willing to come and talk to people and and talk up front i'm willing to come all the time there must be a change in our social media view the jff because you'll have the information is is when you don't have the information then people assume and suppose and and talk what they feel is is the right but if you if if people are willing to come up front and talk and, and i'm I tell you you can call mr chung any day and he will come on the program and have a chat with you about anything so just do it and then yeah mr speed the, speed, the president the president i told you it was because i couldn't get the, my daughter my daughter was busy with the dancing mm -hmm. class mm -hmm. i have to go to dancing class you know and a jamaica this <laughs> yeah <laughs> so i have to go to dancing class and i couldn't make it so the, i thought that the, the guys them they were willing to come and talk because obviously mm -hmm. these are things that they need to iron out so they came but i just couldn't make it on that day and they said i should contact him but, but i said i'm not gonna ca contact the president because i text him and the text is on the phone and in foreign countries with you with respect if he doesn't read my no, message no, no, i'm no, not no. gonna text there him was again. That time, you see. no 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 there was a time <laughs> that is the phone that i think you have wasn't working mm -hmm. up about a month or two you know so i oh, think that okay be okay in that period okay, no man the okay. president well, is not like that he will always answer your call no him. he answered me and everything he said um we make some preparation and stuff to re retouch but i text him couple i think a week after and i never heard back from him and and i'm in in malice with him said i'm not gonna text him back <laughs> <laughs> no, I, mean, I think the phone that him used to have working now so Okay. All right, so Karum says, what are we going to do about the football, Kingston and St. Andrew? So Karum, Karum interested in what's going on. And when Karum, I'll get him licensed because Karum, Karum need him licensed, Mr. Speed, because Karum go actively gardens in the Premier, in the, the Manning Cup and him do good, you know. So when are we going to bust Karum? I will pay the money for him, you know. Just tell me how much and I'll pay it, you know. So next so next year, the coaching, I don't understand which license me because we keep on having coaching courses, a lot of them. We had one in this we had two c license in december which he would be eligible to do but one was for mm -hmm. pure woman we had 24 women we didn't put any men in that class so we because we were building up the capacity in the women's side so we had one for women alone a kanga kaf c well a kanga kaf c for males so i don't understand why he wouldn't be on that one anyway if you're not karumi there's another kanga kaf c license coming up in january i think it's the 16th it start uh the 20th summer when in january so you need to just contact the JFF and get Karoom, 
Get to the JFF, if you want to turn big coach in Jamaica. I see it. I am glad you accept the truth about your wife being adapted to the Jamaican language than you. Obviously, she speaks like seven different languages, so she's better at languages than me. What, what is wrong with this brother? <laughs> That's why you can't, you, Mr. Speed, I can't, they call me in my house. You know, I have to go in and run a corner you know, and talk to them, you know, because once they hear my family talking it, it, fast in my business and come out and tell people, I'm so telling next, you, man. The next deal license is in Manchester, um, January Manchester. 14th. Yeah, C license start January 23rd. Yeah, same. And how much money costs? How much money costs? Because we, we, we don't want Karun to with 20 million. You know? No, D is six, is 30,000, Jay, and 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 C 30, is 60, and C is 60. And then we have more D license in February, more C license. We'll keep up the C license in February. Then, then we have B license starting March, and um, and we have B and we have we have B license right up until July. Every single month we have B license, and then we have. All right, Karoom, if you're serious, mm -hmm. if you're serious, Karoom, um, yeah, we, we need you to turn in a real coach because we, we, you're you're a real coach. Sorry, but we needed to turn in a certified coach because yeah. Mr. Speed them said them only I give. People in a certified coach role, the position them. So if we get a license and you know get nowhere, you can't come up on YouTube and tell people about your big coach. All right. So we're willing to help you, you know. All right. That's all I tell you. You Karu. Because him same of him him, 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 him academic, you know, and we say we're a finance him academy, but um Karum Karu Karu man academy, man. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, if somebody has more the price, I think they get it right. C, as I said, yes, yes, 30 B, and 60. Yeah, B, B has some serious price at 300,000. We are trying to say we can't subsidize it because we know, so, down. so Mr. Speed, oh, it left from 60, 30 and 60,000 to 300,000, Mr. Speed. I know there's one letter, <laughs> may I understand, yes, but is the way it is done, the C have to be done over like over like a four month period. So you do Four months, a week, okay. then you come back a next week, then you come back a next week, then you come back a next okay, week. Okay, okay. So while the, the C, the D is like four days, and the C is like five days. But when you okay, go okay, B, okay, that's okay. when they really teach you to coach properly. The rest okay, is preparation. Okay. Karun, we will pay for one, uh, one of your license in them. The rest, you have to figure it out. Or uh, maybe other people in the chat will help me um, pay for your license then. But you have to be serious, Karun, because you win something. Um, so we want to invest in you yeah, and we have to get returns, you know, because me, me, you see what me I tell the JFF to do? Me, me I sign your car room. So call me and si I'm a sign you. You have to pay me back. That's all me I tell you. <laughs> I saw me I do you them in a Mr. Speed. Me, me I bust them, but me, they have to pay me back. I yeah, some cut, yeah, some, yeah. some yeah. strong arm, um, um, uh, strong arm um, deals me I sign with them. <laughs> mm. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, man, we have a little time. We don't want to drop Mr. Speed um time. So send in your questions, guys. That you want you want rich rich power. Um oh people yeah. can call in for the, the first last 10 minutes. So call in said, people. Eh? What I said, 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 said? five hundred thousand for lights now. Never said five hundred. <laughs> three one on three hundred thousand or three hundred yeah, one three hundred k we're going to subsidize, subsidize, but I don't know how much yet, but we're going to subsidize because we know it's a lot of money. JD should start his his coaching training academy. No, me, I I am good, man. I am good, man. I'm doing my thing already, man. I started everything, do my programs and everything. Uh, but I, I it it's not the same as Jamaica. It takes a little while. You have to go to a lot of lower stages. It, when you see the big license, you don't just get it. So yeah, it takes a little while. Uh, no, different from Jamaica. Doing, you know. No, JD, it's the same okay. thing. Okay. A D first, then you have to do C, then you do B. Yes, and they go straight up for the final mm -hmm. one. You don't just go and pay your big <laughs> money. They don't want your money. They want to have sense. Mm -hmm. So they, they're gonna make sure they teach you to all the stages, and then it goes up. Uh, yeah. So um, we're gonna, uh, gonna ask again. Well, I think we we clear up almost everything, every single thing. Just the Manning Cup thing. Now, what you cleared up early. Um, most people would, would have missed it, but you have to you have to go back to the start of the video in terms of the Manning Cup and what you heard on see TVJ. Mr. Speed said it was not true. They are not blocking any kid. It's just a rule that was instated for um, a couple of years now. Twenty seventeen, I said right. Twenty seventeen. Yes. Yeah. 2017 that rule was instated and um people need to sign the contracts them if they want to play in the national team so the youth send that text me um please listen to the start of the video 
All right, Mr. Speed, want to repeat again? He can. Um, yes, I can so repeat. Like all people here. Yeah. So the in the, the we what we have is a professional league, it's not a development league. Make we make that clear. Just like what we're trying to emulate is like the, the MLS, EPL, the, the top leagues in each country is a professional league that is played by a professional. So we'll be able to compete with the professional players when we play on the national stage. So that is what we're trying to do. So what happened is our league, um, you had to add professional contracts. We start at 35%, then went to 50, then 75. And in 2017, we went to 100%. But when we went to 100%, we realized that there was a few, a little issues. So we applied to the, our parent body over CONCACAF and said, can you oblige us to have five amateur players per team in our league? And this, they approved it. So that was in place from 2017. I just wanted to say that Jamaican law allow you to sign a contract from your 13 years of age with stipulation. Your parents must agree, sign on it too. You must not work overtime. You must not, it must not stop you from going to school. FIFA law also said you can have a professional contract under 18 years of age, but it must not be for more than three years. And there's also some stipulation. So nothing is preventing the players from signing a contract so they can play in the JPL, right? Um, so that is where we are. But the problem that they are having, if they sign a professional contract to play in the JPL, none of those players can go back and play in the Easter run competitions. So that is the real problem. Nor can they get a scholarship to go overseas to go college. So that is the dilemma that they face, and they have to decide which route to take. And I and, and we, oh, that oh, we do have enough development um, tournaments in Jamaica. I admit that. Okay, but that, that's kind of tough still because um, so basically they, they have one, just one, if you choose the Manning Cup, you only have one way out. If you choose the money company and you want to go to college, that is the only way you're gonna go then because it's gonna be dif difficult for you to play in the in the in in in, in the in the, prim in the Premier League. No, no, no. Right now, because can, no, the three you can't five. You have to be in the five. You have to be in the five. You have to be in the yes, five. You have to be in the five. Okay, okay. So um we get it now, guys. It's due to the fact that they're trying to raise the standard of the, the football in the country, especially the JPL. So um, if you're not a professional, just become a professional. All it takes to become the professional, you know, is just sign the paper. So all the kids, them, just go to a lawyer if you're not con if you're not confident if the co the the the, 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 con the the club's doing you a good favor. Go to a lawyer with your family, um, and and they will work out the best way and explain to you in more details. Don't listen to TVJ. Because I knew something was weird about how he was actually talking about you know because he's just shouting and naturally when we're just shouting alone it sometimes we just don't have the information you know so we are trying to ask ourselves <laughs> the, the question so maybe that's what uh, Mr. Oral doing so Oral big up yourself know that you're trying to highlight it because you were the one that highlighted it and then the kids them start complaining but they were more confused. You get me? And um, I don't think they are doing anything bad because we complain every day that the level is lower. So we want the level to be higher. All right. So Karum says, Mr. Speed, know the quality I possesses. Um, I always do well as a coach. So Mr. Speed, you know Karum quality? So why him don't? And yeah, and I, I love he, he, he brought something up. Why is it we have CC? coaches them not in big positions is it that they are just um closed out to want to, to stay at cc because they are they have played some revolutionary football at least youth stage you know so but why is it they're was in the national them? program before all of them was in the national program at least two was in the national program before okay because i got background grown information that said one of them should have been one of them could be in the national program but it, some problem with him you know that's why so i'm asking all right that's nothing that i'm gonna touch i will yeah, just leave i'm saying well. two of those no. coaches was in the national program at various time it's not that they were okay 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 no, because i just believe that what all right you know what yeah this is going to be a little bit deeper all right so we have meron garden um i i don't know him um i heard him talking at that day um so why we went from meron garden 
Why are we waiting for Miran Garden? Because <coughs> I saw Bauer. Miran Garden for the under 17. He's going to be the under 17 coach now. He, yeah, he was the, yeah, the interim, he, and you guys put him on the side to be um, the, the learning, the training. So why is it Miran Garden got so much roles? Is it that he's the best what we have? Because what I'm seeing from CC, you know, I, I love it as well, you know, and he dominated Miran Garden's team as well. You know. Yeah, but Miran won the, the Doncaster Cup last last year. Yeah, last year. So, I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, so, but remember, you know, Miran was actually one of the coach put forward with the during the Tapa era for us to choose from to be an assistant coach. So it's from okay. there he, he got his prominence and then he has gone on to have a, his B license and he's doing his A license now. So he's one of those persons who is always improving himself. Um Paul Al came Paul Al kept him on. Um Al Grimsy kept him on so far. And um, we just uh, didn't think it was it was a bad choice to just choose. Okay, them. okay, okay. No problem because I just want to, because maybe that's what, these are the questions people ask. Yeah. And they, uh, up to now they can't get an answer. I heard from him still, and he seems like he was a a, a, per, a personal. He went through the school in GC Foster College. He yeah. won things with the ladies, and then he came around and won thing with the school boys. So mm-hmm. I said, okay, maybe based and he was the head coach. He was the head coach for the senior female team before Mendes, you know. Yes, yes, yes. I heard, I, 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 I listened. I listened to him, and, and yeah, some that, that, that Okay, okay, okay. So, um, people wondering why they chose Mer- Merrin Garden for that significant role, and I think if you're gonna pick a local per- person, I think Merrin Garden might be the right one because. He, he he's a teacher basically. So he's a teacher that someone can can transfer the knowledge that Mr. Speed always complained that they, they don't get from the coaches. So I think he can transfer the knowledge if 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 the way I heard him speak, you know? Yes. Yeah, so I, I like what he, he offers still. I have I like that. Best cook um is not always the executive chef chef Warren. No, no, Warren, no Warren. I just wanted to know why Mr. Speed him chose him because I heard him spoke for himself, you know. And I like it. I like what he, he's saying, you know. He never won he never won the Manning Cup or the you mean the Dakar Cup this time around. His team never really go go places, but <coughs> definitely um he won it the last time. And then the combination with the ladies that he what he did, um, I realized that maybe he's much more of a teacher than what I first thought, you know. Yes, yeah, so yeah, man, it, it's good, man. So um guys, we have what three more minutes. Um throw in a few more questions because I don't want to keep Mr. Speed too long. You understand me? Yeah, and my, myself, me don't want to keep myself too long as well, too. <laughs> All right. Yeah. yeah, so Mr. Yeah, Speed, I'm not gonna pressure you if you have to go. Um, thanks very you much. I'm fine with the treatment. Okay, 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 okay. okay. All right, just send send in the questions. Uh, let me see. I never got any calls, so yes, that's okay. Surprising. Told people to call. Um, they never called. Um, I know which part of the video they're clipping of Mr. Speed. You always come here, come get me in a trouble here. You because know? one part of the clip, you're going to make, make bad man look for me. You know? I'll be a PhD, I'm going to get done. <laughs> <laughs> so no, no um, people can say, was the that's the reason. Why was the truth that the coach complained to me? It was the truth. I'm not making up stories. <laughs> okay, so story. the people, people. You know why we can't get people in the stadium anymore? A one bad man. <laughs> Make that happen. <laughs> so we have to have principal behavior, all right? Yes. Um, people are afraid of afraid of Mr. Speed. No, 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 no. I'm saying people go check me. Say me allow me man for come from my show come this him. You get me? Uh, <laughs> and uh, your numbers. No, I know, but th- that's how he is, man. That's how he is. He loves fight. He's mm-hmm. going to call me, act like it's me saying it. And I, you said it, you know? Yes. Your number isn't showing. Uh, no, my number is, uh, ain't showing there. But um, uh, people have my number before, you know? Yeah. Ultra, but no, don't call anybody name, man. Don't call any name because he's going to, you know, he's going to appear if you call his name four times. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Speed smoke him the last time. I'll know him can He's still upset. <laughs> so, guys, Mr. Speed, thanks very much for coming on, man. Um, you cleared up a lot of points. I think yeah. a lot of people get it much more clearer. And I, I hope this don't go go any anywhere further um, in terms of um in terms of um, um in terms of 
people thinking that um, the JFF are the, the holding back people because that's how it, it, it sent out on TVJ. Uh, before you go, what, what, it, these wrongful information, what will happen? Like, how are we going to fix these things? Because um, him sending out that, that can't give a bad name on the JFF, you know, and a bad name on the JPL. So, no, no. so I, am, national I, program... I am willing to, to, to talk to Oral uh, and let him see the folly of his ways. I'll call him and I, I'm willing to talk to um, Lenny because Lenny is somebody that I like a lot. I, uh, mm -hmm, I admire mm -hmm. him a lot. Um, and even Sunday, I was talking to him, not about it, but we had a pleasant exchange. So he's somebody that I can speak to and let him understand that that's, that's not the case because with most people, it's just they have bad information and they, they make, they make um, certain deductions from bad information. So that is what we're going to straight on. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Um, Michael, I did not saw your question. And sorry about that, Michael. Okay, so Michael said, Mr. Speed, I was late, but could you say if the coaching coaching certificate with JFF um, will will it integrate um, with GC Foster or universities to get it more comprehensive um, to an A or a pro license? So what that may say, um, we need GC Foster and I need to talk to them, you know, to our the university of the West Indies because while we have the knowledge about what is what 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 is the, what the curriculum should be, the way how we get it across to to prospective coaches may not be the best, and that is why we need these teaching institutions to be able to help us to get it across. So remember, so yeah, uh, is is kind of me kind of busy and not getting to those institutions to try and get them to help us to understand how to teach because people learn in so many different ways. You'll be amazed the amount of different ways that adults learn. And we nobody have them don't part yet. So but those institutions, because of the nature of what they do, they'll be able to help us. So yeah, we'll talk to them. Okay, um, Skillish says bad information flourishes where there is there is too much secrecy. But Agreed. um if, if they are, that's true, but I think they they were willing to answer the question. So why would it never ask before? Because exactly, but it's not me, and it's not. And again, the JFF issue a rules and regulation package every year for before the competition start the regs, and it is in it. So all somebody had to do is read it. But you know what they say about Jamaicans, you know, hide anything in a book that you don't want us to fight. Just hide it in a book. So the, the regs is actually there. And if they had just read it, they would have seen it. It is there from 2007. Um, Mr. I think Mr. Speed answered this, you know, it can answer two ways. Um, it makes no sense sending them overseas now when you have a coach here <coughs> that's coming from the same region that can transfer the information. So I think they're going to just use that uh, at this point because they're paying for it. And then maybe if it doesn't work the full way, they might can um, try that one in the future. That's what he said the last time. Yeah, so, yeah that's okay. Now. There's two things we're doing, you know. We, we, like the B license, we actually have people coming here to teach it. But we also have coaches. You now we have seven coaches that have the, doing the A license, almost finished. And we send three again, to, to, to three more to bring us up to 10. So Jamaica will have 10 A license coaches before the end of this year. So some of those same A license coaches are the ones who is going to be trained. That's why I'm, I'm, I need to speak to GC Foster and the U, U, University or UTEC to say you need to train these coaching educators to be able to impart the knowledge because they have the knowledge just to impart it to use the different methods to impart it onto the other coaches so that is what we're working on because we believe if we learn to teach it then we can teach much more persons because it is so expensive when we bring people from overseas to teach a course the, the, the coaches can't afford it Three hundred thousand for a course it's impossible for them to afford it all right all right so mr speed we're not going to hold you we're going to let you go yeah, and we're going to finish off the rest of the show so thanks very much mr speed to come yeah, on man. um yeah and clear up things you would have you've done a better job than me because i never had no clue about the jff and the jpl <laughs> so thanks very much all right <laughs> yeah, respect. Take care. yeah 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 all right so that was mr speed